Of Hillary Clinton's newest campaign ads criticizes Donald Trump's business ties to Russia. The Republican candidate has many fans in that country, starting with the president. Charlie Daggett went to Moscow to meet another Trump fan with a huge following of his own. He also found someone who's paid a price for standing up to Russia's president. Charlie is with us now from London. Good morning. Good morning. Well, not since the Cold War has Russia played a such a central role in American elections, and everybody over there is buzzing about it, too. And as far as celebrity endorsements go, few come quite like this. One of Donald Trump's biggest fans is also one of Russia's biggest stars. I'm a just a singer. Okay, singer number one in this country. <laughs> Philippe Kirkorov's wide-eyed enthusiasm for the Republican candidate goes back 22 years when Kirkorov performed at Trump's Taj Mahal Casino in Atlantic City. Trump dubbed him the Michael Jackson of Russia, and the bromance has been going strong ever since. Uh, I hope that uh, when the Donald will be president, our relationship will be much, much closer, and all American people finally understand, understood, understood? Understood. Understood that Russia's, Russia is a great country. Russian people is a great people. That mutual admiration goes both ways. Donald Trump has said that he would cut back U.S. involvement in NATO and has heaped praise on Russian President Vladimir Putin, calling him a strong leader. Putin has made clear his preference for a President Trump White House, but there are far more sinister accusations of collusion. Russia stands accused of hacking the Democratic Party's email server. I'm Hillary Clinton, and I approve And this. the Clinton campaign has started running new ads that call into question Trump's financial ties in Russia and how they could impact decisions on national security. While former Russian opposition member Dmitry Gudkov says Trump's admiration of Putin is, at the very least, misguided. Putin is not strong because uh, he's afraid of participating in uh, debates, uh, he's afraid of fair election. He's afraid of being removed and losing control. It, it, I think it's not the position of strong leader. And he says Putin has an easy way of silencing any serious opposition. I'm banned to participate in the TV uh, discussion. You're banned from going on television? Yes, I'm banned from going to the television. Now, just think about that during tonight's TV debate. The American election is getting lots of coverage from Kremlin-backed channels and newspapers. No prizes for guessing who they see as the favorite. Nora? All right, Charlie, thank you so much.